up, everybody? Uh, I'm Mike from. Uh, I don't even know, like, what really to call myself. <laughs> I'm a part of the the project Fat Boy. Um, I'm, I'm the Fat Boy. He's the Fat Boy. Yeah. People have actually called you that, right? Yeah, t- a bunch. Calling him Fat Boy. I had a couple of people call me Fat Boy, like, and, and abbreviated on Facebook too. Hey, PF, like. There's no more Daniel. I've, it's not. I don't even. I don't even know where Daniel is anymore. But uh, we're we're here chilling. Uh, <laughs> we're uh, we're talking on the eve of phase two, man. Yeah. Less than uh, less than twenty four hours time? away, man. We we're on the verge of like we're the twelve hour the twelve yeah. hour brink, maybe like fifteen to go. Crazy, dude. I know uh, you guys out there, people that have uh, you know been following around. You guys are excited, dude. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I know it, 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 it's coming uh, up soon, bro. Like, what are, what are you thinking about? What are, what's going through the head right now? I just don't want to puke. You don't uh, I don't want to puke. I, no, a seriously, that's a goal it is. There. I think it's a lot of people's goals. A lot of my clients' goals, and I usually do the opposite and try and make them puke. And then now I'm no. Um, I just the whole point in running the race. That was the biggest thing was making a commitment and sticking with it. I don't care if it takes me four hours across the finish line. That you know, it's just about making a commitment, and sticking to it. That's all, you know, I'll get across the finish line if I have to be escorted on a gurney with oxygen. Drug. I mean, <laughs> how bad is it going to be if like four of my clients have to drag me across the finish? No, it's, um, I just, I just want to commit to it, man. Cause this is, this is something big. The idea and the notion of making a lifestyle change and, and getting back into shape is, uh, is, it's pretty easily attainable. You know, anybody can like the idea of, oh man, I'm going to start eating better exercise and all this stuff whatever but you you're never i mean that's pretty much garbage until you actually find something to commit to it right um and you're definitely never going to change anything without commitment so yeah i uh i'm definitely afraid of puking i yeah i've done a lot of puking in my life never in a 5k um i do have a feeling everybody keeps asking me what what's my last meal going to be like my last supper and i'm like man honest i don't know uh do you want to go all out i mean no because it makes it's gonna make me puke like uh i mean and the people want puke is that what you're saying like oh as a fat guy i don't you're on the verge of like you know what i mean not being able to eat all this crap anymore and now that's i'll be honest with you i just want to like yeah, go out with a beer. I'm I'm thinking maybe some golden corral hit it hit the buffet like so Especially off so much yeah have. I'm gonna like wear like a trench from my table to the buffet like <laughs> back and forth over and over again the carpets off <laughs> people are tripping more, yeah. like uh no I uh, I'll be honest with you like pro I think well, you and I talked about this but maybe like halfway through maybe even four months into it I could have very easily walked away you know like Gone right back to drinking water, eating the way I, you know, was and should have been, whatever the case may be. Um, but it wouldn't have been realistic. I didn't, at that point, I hadn't adapted the lifestyle, you know. Right. Um, and even now, like, yeah, I've, I live at 100%. Um, and people are like, I bet you're so glad, like, you know, to not be eating. I'm like, no, I, I like it, you know. Like, that was the whole point was to absolutely roll into it. Yeah. And, uh and have to struggle to yeah and have to struggle to get out you know it is and uh i mean i eat i probably eat i don't know 60 uh, that's maybe a bit much i've i don't know 40 50 bucks a week in fast food and like not just fast food but just convenient stuff like i'll go to kroger next door to one of the clubs and grab a frozen pizza or something and microwave it for right. you know way too long and I, I bet that's you know what i mean that's that's every single day. And then I'll get home and, and Stacy's I mean, I mean, already like, made dinner or something. You know, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, are the same way, if not more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Way. It's, I mean, that's why preparation is key, man. It's, and it's actually one of the best things about, um, you know, making a lifestyle change. The fact that it actually teaches you some structure and you can roll it over into a lot of different aspects of your life. Right. Um, that's one of my rules for food is that I will make a weekly menu plan for every single meal right. breakfast snacks lunches dinners everything i'll make it i'll set one day probably saturday sunday afternoon whatever set the day set you know sit down with stacy figure out what we're going to have to eat and nice. and follow it um and be prepared in case something happens like 
you know, random person coming into the gym wanting to know about, you know, like any yeah. downtime I thought I might had that goes out the window, at least I'll be prepared. And that's the best thing because when you're prepared, you can't fail. Right. And talking about those lists, you know, both of those lists, they're up. You put them on the Fat Boy. Right? Yeah, they're both up on the Project Fat Boy page. Yeah. The workout yeah. rule, the PF, the PFP. So, the, uh, so we, you know, Dan put his, uh, it's like nutritional rules, you know, the rules that you're going to follow. Yeah. As, as well as his workout rules, which everybody can check out, you know. And, and, of course, they were crazy to me when I read them. I talked to you today about it. No starchy carbs after two. Like, I've heard after, like, six or whatnot, but, like, two, man, or nine. Yeah, it's, dude, I mean. Dude, you're, you're really going to like. <sighs> Well, about it. And, well, not even <laughs> a lot of it, Drew, and this is what a lot of things, and I actually, you know, a lot of these rules are similar to the rules that I, you know, encourage clients to, to start following. Right. Um, it's not, this is not the lifestyle change that you're shooting for. This is just to kind of spark, you know, the introduction of a new way to live. Uh, I'm not going to always, you know, I wouldn't advise always stopping starchy carbs at 2 p.m. Your body at some point, you know, is going to be able to handle you know, 215 carbs, you know, like yeah. it's just a way to shock the body and start actually using your organs and everything at maximum capacity. Exactly. So, you know, I'll, uh, and even honestly, three months of doing that, in my opinion, is too long, but, um, I mean, it's almost unnecessary unless somebody really, really struggles with the, you know, the diligence of it and right. actually sticking to it. It shouldn't take that long for your body to adjust. But it's a great way to start, and then the transition to start introducing, reintroducing this stuff is a lot more easy, you know, easier. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not more better. Uh, mo better. Mo better. Uh, it's uh, no, so it's it's a lot easier just to do it that way. It's safer as well, you know. Uh, it's not a. It's not unrealistic. Now, if I said you know I'd be cutting out carbs completely, that'd just be stupid. Right. Um, contrary to what all these fad diets and stuff say, like. Uh, and we'll get into that. That's actually something I'm going to really hammer hard on is, uh, is kind of, you know, flushing out myths associated. That's what I want to focus on for a lot of the nutrition stuff um, throughout the next three months is to, to actually just put knowledge on people. So <laughs> put it right on their face. So, so you don't have to be confused about, well, I thought carbs were bad. And, you know, what about, you know, sunflower kernel juice diet? Like, you know, like. Um, like there's no sense in eating one grapefruit every Thursday of the month, right. you know, like to lose 40 pounds in 20 minutes. It's, yeah. And, and it, I mean, we're joking around, about it, but like, it is serious. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, it's things, you know, people struggle with. I struggle with it. Dude, I struggle with my weight, I struggle with dieting. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to eat, try to eat healthy. Cause you're just like you just said, man, you get all these, this information thrown at you from all a bunch of different all sources all and all this stuff. And I'm truthfully, I, it's just another source, but I've also, you know, well, been doing it for long enough. It, yeah, yeah, you know I mean? it's it's going to be proven, yeah. you know. Uh, and I mean, and like you know, everybody knows that. I, well, not everybody knows, but we'll make it official, I guess. You know, uh, I guess about seven years ago, I was clinically obese, but I was, you know, about sixty pounds overweight. Made a lifestyle change, came out of it, you know, and that was what really sparked um, Project Fat Boy. Hang on, hang on. Where you putting nuggets? Um. That's what sparked it was to, because I could have shown anybody a picture of me five, six, seven years, well, about seven years ago and said, hey, look, oh, I was fat. No, I'm not. Ta-da. Like, but it's magic. Like, all you need is just five years and you're good. Like, no, but the whole point is to show that, show, to show what works, you know, right. and that it actually does instead of just reading about some guy in Minnesota that mm. lost 20 pounds eating pencils, you know, like. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that'll be the biggest focus nutritionally is uh, is actually to expand the knowledge because when you know how to identify food and and actually put it to use in your life, then you cannot you can't do wrong. Right. In a pinch, you can't do wrong. You know, even with limited options, you can't do wrong as long as you have the knowledge. Right. So let's talk about this. You know, this the second phase coming up. We're uh, we, we were talking earlier, and you know, base, so basically we're gonna be. I don't know if we're going to be, but there's going to be a filmed workout yeah. once a week, right? Yeah, I, at the minimum, I, uh, I'm i going to do my best. Like, I, honestly, <laughs> you're talking about that makes me, you know, want to throw an open apology out there for not filming as much during phase one. Um, but truthfully, man, I didn't have the motivation. I was just fat and lazy. Yeah. I, the last thing I wanted to do was walk a total of seven feet and get a camera and set it up and just right. do this with my mouth. I was... 
that was too much. I didn't want to do it. 